Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zita and if you are new to this channel you are welcome. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my relaxer at one year and three months post relaxer. Yes guys I've been stretching my relaxer and I think I'm ready to get this hair relaxed. And if you're interested in seeing how I relaxed my hair kindly stay until this video. So the first thing you do of course is to take down any protective style and what I normally do is if I know I'm relaxing my hair next month and I want to do a protective style now I try to do a protein treatment in order to prepare my hair for my relaxer. So once I take it down all you have to do is to detangle your hair in section then section your hair and just do mini twist because it's really really easy for, for you to, to apply your relaxer while your hair is in mini twist. I also make sure I coat my already relaxed hair starting on the demarcation line with petroleum jelly or Vaseline. You can use any grease oil of your choice but Vaseline is what I mostly have in hand. So I make sure I coat my entire relaxed hair with Vaseline then I go ahead and I twist that section. And for any disclaimer, this is just what I do and guys, I really wish I had someone to help me relax my hair but unfortunately where I am, we don't even have an African salon, not to talk of having a bad experience with it. We don't have, I do hair for most of the people even around us. So this is just what works for me. As you can see, I have a lot of new growth. I really have a lot of new growth. I'm excited and at this point, I was really scared relaxing my hair by myself. But my sister that could have helped me was not available and I just wanted to relax my hair. So as I said, all you do is to apply petroleum jelly on your already relaxed hair starting on the a few inch from the demarcation line. Then make sure you have that section in twist. So it makes it very easy for you once you start to apply your relaxer. Once I'm done having my hair in twist, all you have to do now is to apply the Vaseline. Make sure you don't touch your new growth, but make sure you also apply it very well on your scalp. Not forgetting your edges, your, your nape, and of course also your ears. Because those are the parts you wash almost every day and can be very, very sensitive to relaxer. So the relaxer I'm using today is the ORS Live Relaxer in Normal Strength. I normally use the No Live Relaxer in Extra Strength, which is the box relaxer, but I couldn't get it, guys. Like I tried, and this was the least I could get, and I decided to work with it. And guys, I had already applied the back of my hair before coming to show you how I apply the front part. At this point, I was already ready to wash it out. I was ready to wash it out. The back part was already, I mean, it took me three minutes to apply it at the back part, but as soon as the relaxer touched my scalp, it began to burn. So I had to hurry, even though in the video, it might seem like I'm slow, I wasn't slow. I had to just hurriedly just, thank God I had a lot of new growth. So I just had to apply it as fast as possible. And then I start to use my hands to smoothen it. Also guys, I knew that the light relaxer was not good for people with sensitive scalp but honestly I didn't know my scalp was this sensitive like my scalp hardly get irritated and I don't get burnt from the light so and my scalp was really dirty but I didn't know my scalp was this sensitive guys like it was good to know but also it was good to know in a bad way I didn't know my scalp was this sensitive So once I was done applying the relaxer on my entire head, especially the front part, I used my hand now to just massage the relaxer onto my hair. And then I add as much as I needed, much relaxer as possible. Guys, I had to hear it. Like I could feel the relaxer starting to burn and I was just so scared because my new growth was so thick. And honestly, I had never, I can't even remember using a normal relaxer. So... I was actually even skeptical if it will relax my hair the way I like my hair to be. But the rate at which this thing was already burning me, I was ready to wash it out. So as I said, just use your hand to smooth it as much as you can. Add more relaxer as you need. And please make sure you don't skip any section of your hair. 
So at this point, it was looking okay. My hair was starting to feel soft. So what I decided to do was to unravel the twist and just uh, smoothen my hair again a little bit towards the the beginning of the twist because I didn't want to have under processed hair in those area since I had a lot of new growth. So that was all that was all I had to do. Make sure you unravel the twist, even if you don't smoothen your hair to the point of where you started doing the twist. When you want to get into the shower, it's best to unravel the twist so that you don't experience any tangled at that uh, uh, point where you have the twist. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's my Once I'm done smoothing my hair I'll be using the ORS uh, shampoo that comes in the kit box to use to moisturize my conditioner If you buy the, no, the light relaxer you need to buy a neutralizing shampoo but if you use the no light relaxer it comes in the kit a neutralizing shampoo and a deep conditioner So I'm going to just dash into the shower and I will rinse my hair real fast and as I said I will use the neutralizing shampoo that comes in the kit I will first of all rinse it out and then I applied it on my hair and I rinsed it out and then I apply it again on my hair and I rinse it out and then I apply it again and I let it sit for about uh, five minutes to seven minutes before I rinse it out after that, I'll be using the ORS Replenishing Conditioner. This conditioner is amazing, especially when it comes after doing a relaxer because it has both protein and moisture, like it just balances up your hair. So I'll be using two of these that comes also inside the no light box. If you have very fine hair, one would do, but my hair is really, really thick. So two packets, sometimes it's not even enough for me because I'm really heavy handed with products. So I'm just going to squeeze two of them inside that jar and then I'll also be adding a tablespoon of my castor oil and this is a castor oil from the Ashanti brand made in Ghana. So I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of that inside my uh, replenishing conditioner and I'll just use a brush to mix that very well. Castor oil is amazing when it comes with moisturizing the hair and also promoting hair growth. Right now, I have rinsed out the relaxer from my hair using the neutralizing shampoo and I've just used the fiber towel to absorb most of the water from my hair and then I will just use my finger to finger detangle anywhere I feel like there is any knot or any, any tangles and I wasn't really sure if I like my hair, like if the live, the live relaxer did the job, the no live relaxer did but I w it was okay, I just wanted to go ahead and deep condition my hair using the replenishing conditioner before I'll be able to tell if I like the texture of my hair. So I'll apply the replenishing conditioner on my hair, then I'll put on a, a shower cap and I'll let that sit for a good 45 minutes before rinsing it out. conditioner from my hair and I'll start by apologizing for the quality of this video like for some reason after I rinsed out my hair my camera was just I noticed it after I had after I was trying to edit like 
it did give my hair a very darker shade and it was difficult to see but guys my hair was on the process like i had on the process hair in some parts i am not kidding i was devastated i felt so angry but there was nothing i could do i couldn't turn back the hands of time i couldn't like just continue stretching until i was able to get my relaxer because the relaxer i bought was not coming so guys i was really devastated at this point but i just started to detangle my hair and then i went ahead and i used the uh, cream of nature leave-in conditioner and i just sprayed it on my hair which really also helps with detangling my hair Next, I'll be sectioning my hair in four sections and on each section, I'll be applying the ORS heat protecting serum and I'll be using my, I have a comb blow dryer, I can't even remember the name and I'll be using that blow dryer on cold to just blow dry my hair. So guys, at this point, while editing this video, I was just laughing on myself how sad I look <laughs> looking at my hair, guys, but I wasn't really happy with my, with my result. Like I was really, I don't know, I was really sad having an underprocessed hair without even knowing what I still have ahead of me. So I don't know, I was really feeling so bad. So I'll just apply the ORS serum on this section of my hair and I'll be using my blow dryer on cold because I was also trying to avoid using a lot of heat on my hair. Like I wasn't even sure what state my hair was right now. Like I've been self relaxing for as long as I remember and I've never, I think if I've had on that process, it would just be like a small part at the back of my hair. Like the extra strain always takes for me, but I tried something new, not even trying extra strain in the no lie relaxer, but I tried normal in the lie, which the lie was also a new thing for me. And I don't know right now I really can't tell but I'll try to make a video to give you guys more information about what I experienced and what you should avoid and mistakes you should not also do so I'll be using this my comb hair dryer on cold and I'll blow dry my hair see after blow drying my hair you will not be able to tell I have any on the process hair or I'm experiencing breakage or I'm experiencing any setback because my hair really looked okay I will say it actually looked okay so I'll blow dry my hair very fast and I'll be right back to show you guys the final result and this is my final result you all my hair look pretty full and shiny after using the blow dryer on cold i think some parts of my hair were still a little bit damp but i didn't mind to just have a scalp around my head and just let the rest of my hair to air dry like i was actually happy at this point or i was feeling okay but deep inside me i know my hair was on the process but my hair really looked full and shinier and yeah and that is it guys i'll be sharing with you my experience using another relaxer if i'll be using that again or if i'll just go back to the extra strength and try to correct the already the on the process here guys so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my next video